Hi, my name is Hilman Misham and I'm part of the engineering team of Medef International Technologies. So Medef International Technologies is a company based in Malaysia. So previously it's been established in back in 2005. But during that time, our business is about maintenance, service, repair and overhaul of our military assets. And this is our first product, Malaysian made armored vehicle. Okay, so we are presenting four products all together. The first one is our pride. It's called Tarantula High Mobility Armored Vehicle 4x4. So as you can see, this is our first Malaysian made armored vehicle. We initially we want to design this for our army for recon mission. So the features of the vehicle is that first uh, we talk about the protection level is a standard uh, level two, so it can go uh, and then the underbelly itself we have a standard level two B, so it can protect against mine blasts uh, around six kg TNT. And inside we can fit in around ten crews altogether. And then on top of the vehicle we have the RCWS for twelve point seven mm, specialized for our special force so it's for surveillance purpose There's, it lacks a protection level because we want to make it lightweight as lightweight and as reliable as possible for the special force to go to the enemy camp survey and then straight away go back home the maximum speed it can reach around like 150 kilometers per hour we are planning to put on the 7.62 as 12.7 mm gun and then 7.62 at the front this is electrical bicycle so we want to give like options for special force so we can instead of fit in two crews we can fit in three crews at the same time so this is not innovation so we take the all the adnans the Anas version, the old version, and then we refurbish it inside with new technology. Okay, for example, the previous Anas, we have one pin track link, and then we change it to the, uh, to the two, two link track link, and then we increase the power pack itself, the sensor, and then the weapon system, and inside we have uh, like new seats with new power pack. So Rentaka is actually the, it's a smaller version of the Tarantula itself. So we want to make it for our police department, especially for anti-riot purpose. So it has been launched by our His Majesty the King on the first day of the DSA, and then he named it as Rentaka. Inside, we, can, uh, we want to give the end user system that they want to put inside. As you can see, if you go to inside, it's empty, but it's a lot of space for any uh, users. For example, if you want to put like 12 for 7 to red on top it's fine with us we can customize it ourselves my name is Jorge I'm working for NAMO and uh, NAMO is an ammunition company making you know all kind of ammunition uh, also you know rocket motor history for the M72 is starting from late 50s already with the first version after that it's been development for different version it's an anti-tank system from the beginning but now we are developing, you know, different warheads so we can defeat different uh, war scenarios. What you see on the wall here is the latest version, where I've been developing with the new technology, with new views and new system, and most efficient. This is the latest version you have, where you have, you know, what's so M72 EC and M72 ASMRC is an anti-structure round. It's very light. It's weight only 30. So 3.5 kilograms, the main purpose is to get the system where it's very easy to use. So you can actually take this thing off, extend it, have the side available, the hole there, arm, and you fire. So everything can operate in a few seconds only. Single use, after that you just throw away. For the warhead, there is the liner, it's an anti-tank you know, warhead. So it's liner, it's when you hit the target, you actually form the jet very deep penetration. And this is what the result, where you have the entrance of the jet, and this is the exit of the jet. So it's actually, you know, penetrate through very heavy armor. It will be an explosion outside, but you will get, you know, fragments inside the vehicle. For the anti shock round, you have, you know, high explosive inside the warhead, very containing aluminum, we create very, you know, high pressure. So you can have, you know, short and long delay for the wire. So you get, you know, function to bridge the wall, but also to get the rocket inside the building and explode inside the building. The Amazon 2 is served, you know, many countries, basically in NATO, but also some countries in Asia, like Malaysia, but also Thailand. So my name is Tarek Hamedani. I'm the CEO of TAG Middle East. Uh, we are an armored vehicle manufacturing company. Uh, we have five facilities around the world, US, Canada, uh, Germany, UAE, and Oman. 
So today we have our BAT UMG. It belongs in our APC family. This is a Stanag 1 level protection vehicle. This vehicle can go up to Stanag 2. Our company covers everything from the small cash and transit vehicle up to the military vehicles, Stanag 4 and Stanag 5. So this vehicle is built on the Ford F550 platform. We have smaller ones that are built on the Land Cruiser platform, and then we have independent suspensions and V-Holds vehicles going up on that. Vehicle usually look the same. Components used are the same. What makes the difference in the way the vehicle is constructed one of the things that differentiates us is the way we do our build process, the way we do our traceability and the certifications we get. So on the uh, personal protection vehicles, uh, we supply the United Nations, NGOs and the governments, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, embassies, etc. On the APC uh, range, we also supply governments, mainly military, uh, Ministry of Interior and some MOD, Ministry of Defense. Protection level, as I said, it's Tanag 1, that's a standard. What's usually unique about vehicles design is the front face here, the, what you see here. This does give protection to the engine bay. It has two variants. We can have protection or to reduce the weight. We cannot have protection on the engine bay because what's important is, uh, of course, the passenger cabin. In this specific vehicle, uh, it can be a ride control vehicle for the Ministry of Interior, or it can just be a PC for transport of troops. And it has a weapon mounting system on top that can uh, take uh, different types of uh, weapon systems. The setup is either 6 plus 2 or 8 plus 2, depending on the, on the, on the customers. And we have different variants of it. So we have a uh, pickup variant that takes only four people. This specific one is 8 plus 2, so it takes up to 10 people.